got a bunch of uh, computer hard drives that have been uh, sitting around. You know, for whatever reason, it could have been a lot of, you know, some components go with motherboards, uh, graphics cards, uh, you name it. Uh, a lot of us have had computers for quite some time now, so what to do with the old hard drives? Well, item R driver 3. It's a USB uh, converter. This is a SATA connector to USB, so all one cable. This is a SATA connector, 40 pin uh, to USB. And that the back side which would fit onto a hard drive of a uh, laptop desktop laptop the SATA portion goes in to the back of the hard drive here there's a uh, centering marker right there and you can center it with the uh, hard drive here we'll see device one which is slave these white little DIN pin connectors uh, represent uh, the uh, slave or master function of the hard drive. The slave would be if uh, you have two hard drives, you need one master, one slave. But for the um, R driver 3 USB to SATA, you know, to recover the information on this hard drive, we need to make this hard drive a master. Next, we need to supply power. This is your uh, power port. It's uh, got a four pin connection. We have the uh, four pin that fits into the hard drive. It's got rounded edges, so they only fit one direction, so you don't have to worry about polarity. There we go, there's power in. And if you're in Europe, you'd need a uh, 240 adapter. It would plug right into this three prong configuration, which is uh, North American 120 volt. There we got all the plugs plugged in for the uh, hard drive and basically you're ready to harvest any information that's on this uh, IBM hard drive. Just need to plug in the USB connection, plug it into power supply and we're, we're pulling information off that hard drive. It's that simple.